Welcome back guys. So we just wrapped up that video to uh, do the real giveaway. Again, congratulations to the winner. Uh, thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, thank you for those who have subscribed. Uh, if you're new, this is Outdoors with Creed. Please subscribe. Make sure you click on the bell so you get notifications. Well, click on the bell and then click on all. That way you get notified every time I put out my videos. Uh, please drop comments down below. Share the videos. Let me know what you guys think. Smash the thumbs up button if you really like the videos. So now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this Monster Bass bag. This is this month's bag. Uh, the month of May. I'm getting lost. This is the May Monster Bass uh, bag. This is the Platinum Series. So um, I'll leave a link down below so you can click on it and get yourself subscribed for Monster Bass. Their monthly subscriptions. Uh, if you do the Platinum Series, which is what this one is, you'll get one of these cool bags along with all the baits that are in there. So they always have some kind of a cool sticker. The theme of these stickers always change, so it's always something different, but they're always cool. Uh, you get this cool little card here to sign up for Fish Angler. Uh, Fish Angler is an app that you can go on, and if you're traveling or even at home, it shows you anybody else who's on Fish Angler. It shows you where they were at. They can drop a waypoint uh, on a body of water where they were at, caught a fish, what baits they were using, all of that stuff. So then hopefully you can go out, duplicate that, and have the same success. Uh, they always come with one of these booklets here. They've got a lot of information from the Monster Bass Pro Staff as well as they get some kind of a story from some of the pros on either a bait or a, a, a technique that they uh, are known for fishing. So there's always a lot of good information in these booklets. Um, so you can take whatever's in your bag, find it, match it in the booklet, and then it'll give you a, a brief description of how to fish those lures as well as the areas to fish those lures. So always a lot of good information in these. So let's jump into what we got. So we've got a, a Bagley prop bait. Uh, this is called the Pro Sunny Bee Twin Spin. It's a balsa bait, so it's going to float. So this is a topwater bait. Uh, I'm trying to see if it shows the color. It doesn't show what color. But on this bait right here at the front of the bait and on the back you have two propellers and with this uh, there's a couple of ways you can actually fish these so you can throw it out there and then do a slow retrieve meaning you're just reeling it in nice and slow and those propellers on the front and the back are going to start spinning they're going to create a lot of commotion a lot of water vibration and stuff which will call those fish out of whatever hiding spots they're in and trigger some kind of a strike. Um, I would probably throw that, I'm not gonna say early in the morning, but probably on like overcast days. Uh, you know, not real sunny days because you want them to come out. So, I'm trying to see if there's anything in the booklet about it. No. But. Um, most of the time I've seen the pros fishing this bait and it's just kind of a steady, you know, not a steady retrieve and they're not really popping it real hard like you would with a jerk bait or a walking bait like the uh, Strike King Sexy Dog or anything like that, but just kind of, kind of one of these motions just popping it just to get those propellers to spin and like I said, cause some, some water disbursement and commotion. Okay, next we have some uh, V&M black and blue glitter. These are the RC Crawl. So black and blue is always a really good color. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Drop my bag here. So, so got a, a lot of plastic in there. So if you want to 
throw this on a Texas rig or flip heavy grass or something like that, this would be a good good bait to throw that with. Uh, good scent to it too. Good scent. But uh, I would probably throw this Texas rig. You can even Carolina rig that uh, when you when you're fishing your soft plastics. It's really you know depending on your conditions that you're in and and your uh, your location will determine how you're going to fish those but soft plastics you you can't really go wrong with anything uh next we have the z-man uh helicross the color of this is called hot crawl uh again another bait that i would probably throw on a texas rig or a carolina rig doing some flipping around some uh, the base of some trees, some sparse grass or something like that. Um, let's see here. Uh, Z-Man, you know, Z-Man has that elastic. So it's very, very stretchy and it hardly breaks. So you can fish this all day and you don't really have to worry about your baits tearing up on you. But again, uh, this will be something... Uh, Texas rig, Carolina rig. Uh, you can even use this as a jig trailer, which will also work really, really good. Uh, here we have Grand Bass. This color is called Summer Crawl, but these are their five inch Airtail Rattler. Okay, so again, this is a bait that you can either, you can Texas rig this one, but this one would probably work best Carolina rigged. And the reason I say that is because this tail has a little air pocket in it. Right back here on the end of this tail, there is a hole right there. So you can go out and buy uh, those small little rattles and put in there to give it that rattling noise to help attract those fish. But because of the way it's made, how it slims down right there, where it's real slender, and then since that has that air pocket in there, this can actually float. So if you threw this on maybe, um, oh, not so much on a, uh, a Ned rig, but maybe do this as a Nico, and it's sitting you know, on a Nico rig, when you got the nail weight in there and it's sitting like this, that tail should stand up and at least be quivering back and forth. And that should strike, get you a couple strikes. But again, a Texas rig, uh, you put that Ned or that rattle in there. And as each time you go to hop that off the bottom, that rattle is going to make just a little bit of noise, which should call those fish to, uh, come in at least investigate. And then the, the twitching and erratic movement will probably trigger them to bite. Okay, I'm gonna save those two. Okay, here we have a Smithwick suspending jerk bait. This color is pretty cool. Uh, Rogue purple darter. Uh, with any jerk bait, you know, you you want to switch up your cadence. Uh, normally. Spring, summertime, the fish are usually looking for more erratic action. So your cadence, and when we're talking about cadence, the way you're working the rod tip. When you're fishing jerk baits, you want to move the bait with the rod, not with the reel. The reel, you're just taking up your slack. You don't want to take up too much slack because you want to move your jerk bait on slack line. And when I was talking about cadence, so you throw it out there. It hits the water, you want to reel down a little bit, get it down into the water. And then when you start your cadence, that cadence could be anything from one, one, one. And the reason I'm saying one is because in between each time you jerk the rod tip down and back towards your bait, you want to pause. Now, that cadence could turn into one, one, two, one, one, two. That cadence could also be one, one, two, three, one, two, one. Vary your retrieve. By doing that, 
you're letting the fish tell you how they want that bait. What are they seeing? Are they seeing a bait fish that is fleeing? Are they seeing a bait fish that is injured? So vary your retrieves when you're fishing jerk baits. And if you pay attention to how many times you jerk and then pause, and then when you get that strike, that should tell you what the fish are looking for so that way you'll know okay throw back out there and i need to duplicate that type of retrieve and try to get another strike if you get another strike the same way you went from being lucky to now you have established a pattern of what the fish are looking for so and then the last two baits i wanted to say these two for last for a specific reason so here we have the Monster Bass Blade Runner Spinner Bait. As you can see, it's a double Colorado blade. Uh, the color is called Grape Ape. Uh, it's a black and blue with a little bit of purple in there. And then you have a Mustad Arm Lock that is a has two small willow leaf blades. Now, both of these are spinner baits but they're different so and what i mean by that is here we have the colorado blade plus you can see it's a darker color so i would probably throw this in more of your stained to muddy water so that way you have a darker color so it's going to help the fish see a little bit more but the difference is really in the blades the colorado blades you're going to fish a little bit slower they're going to put off a lot more uh thump and vibration and the fish are going to be able to feel that with those with that lateral line on their side and help them hone in on where that bait is at to get those strikes. So uh, probably more stained to muddy water for this one. This one here, you have a little bit lighter color. So you probably can throw this in more of your stain to clear water. Uh, this color is called what was wakasagi wakasagi i don't know but so you probably want to throw this in probably some stain to clear water the willow leaf blades you can fish a little bit faster plus those are going to give off a little bit more flash so that way uh, the more flash then again is going to draw those fish in especially in that color or that uh, more clear water uh, both of these you can put whatever type of trailer you want on there or you can put trailer hooks whichever way you want to go but just make sure you're picking the right spinner bait for the right application throw this stuff around lay downs probably can pull it through some sparse grass stuff like that around docks probably around uh uh, what am I trying to say? Some rip wraps and rocks and stuff like that on your points, but good good baits to throw about around this time. So uh, again, that is all I got for this month's bag. But a lot of great baits. Uh, you know, a lot of this is a. Uh, you, you got to get out there and that's one of the good things about the Monster Bass subscription when you get all these baits you'll get baits that you never went into a bait store and bought so now this is helping you get out of that comfort zone and try to learn new techniques and how to throw um, different lures and again if you look in the booklet you're going to learn some of these tips and tricks from some of the pros in the book so that should help you along the way so that way you can build your confidence in a lot more of these baits but uh, again guys thank you so much for subscribing thank you for the support thank you for watching this video uh, if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button make sure you click on the bell and then click all so that way you get notified when I put out these videos uh, make sure you leave a comment uh, especially if you're getting entered for the giveaway for a monster bass bag or box I don't know if they're gonna send them in the boxes or the bags but make sure you leave a comment so that way if you are the lucky winner I can get back to you to let you know that you won and then that way I can start getting information to get this stuff sent out to you I haven't thought of uh, whether I'm gonna do a 300 or a 350 giveaway uh, 
drop some comments guys and let me know uh, should I do another giveaway at 300 or should I wait till 350 and then do a giveaway drop a comment down below let me know uh, thanks for watching guys I really do appreciate everybody who has subscribed to the channel and I do appreciate all the encouraging words that everybody has been putting um, I'm surprised people haven't talked about me a little bit because when I was reading some of the comments I, I would laugh to myself or just smile because you don't know how much it means to me that the things that everybody is saying I do know that I could go on the YouTube and buy fake subscribers to build up my uh, subscription base but I want to do this where I got people subscribing to the channel because they actually like what I'm doing and what I'm putting out and not just trying to buy a certain number of fake subscribers just so I can get paid for this. Getting paid for this would be great, but I really want to build up my subscription base because people actually like what I'm putting out and what I'm doing. So to everybody who has subscribed and for the encouraging words, thank you so much. Uh, that's all I got, guys. So make sure you click on that link uh, and get signed up for a Monster Bass uh, monthly subscription and get out there and try some of these baits. That's all I got. Till next time, guys. See you in the great outdoors.